If you've been trying to create a menu like this, which is horizontally scrollable, then you're in the right place. Take a look at this. This is it. When I inspect it, and this is how it looks on a professional mobile simulator. This is it. It scrolls either to the left or to the right. So if that is what you want to create, then sit tight and join me in this journey. Okay, so let's take a look. This is how we begin. So for you to be able to follow this tutorial, you need to have Elementor Pro installed. And version 3.7.17 upwards. If you have anything before that, it is not going to work. So the first method we are going to do, we are going to be using some custom CSS code. And let's just come here. And we first of all need to create some menu items. So I'm going to come ahead here. I'm not going to use any of this. I'll just use custom links and I'll say hash item one. You can use uh, whatever, if you have pages, you can use the pages as your menu items. You just add them here like that, all your pages. But for this tutorial, I don't want to use pages. I want to use custom links. So I'm going to put here item one, item one here, yeah. item one, add to menu, item two. Let me just copy this so that I can duplicate that. Item two, add to menu, hash, item three, hash, item four. Command V, Ash, Command V, item 5, Hash, again, Command V, item 6, Hash, Command V, item 7, please bear with me, I'm doing this from scratch, and then we can just make them 10, Yes, then you go here, command V item 10. So we add this to the menu and make sure you toggle header here and then you save that. Save menu. Now I have the hello elemental theme installed. Let me go to themes. So you see it comes with its own settings. Now, here is a very important setting you need to uh, put on before we go ahead and go to settings under Elementor settings, go to Elementor settings, go to features. This particular feature needs to be toggled on menu active. It needs to be active. You can go ahead and just activate everything like I've done here and click on save. It's going to be really important so that this theme or any other theme shows the menu. Now, this is what we have, but this is not what we want. So we come back and you come to, because you're using Elementor Pro, come to Theme Builder, Templates, Theme Builder. Okay. And under Theme Builder, you see Header. Click on Header. We don't want to use any template. We want to look for navigation, nav, search for nav menu, drag and drop it here. And then we want to use our custom CSS for this. Now you can go ahead and change some things about this, like the typography. I prefer to use poppins. Yes. I, I wrote I trim here, but it is it's well. So I'm going to share this code with you in the description and the first comment in the comment section. Go ahead, 
and when you come to click on this come to advanced and then come to custom css and you can paste this here you see this has changed now when you're using this code you are free feel free to change this hex code to whatever color you want to give it now this these are the hex colors which give the different colors here you want to change them to whatever you desire you can come here and when it comes to horizontal padding you can increase this that's under style you can increase this to space them out and then the space between you can increase the spacing between them let's go ahead and publish add conditions entire side i just always like to choose each of these click on save now let's go to preview you see the way it is here now let's view this on mobile on mobile this is one thing i forgot on mobile just click here and when it comes to a breakpoint choose it choose none on the mobile layout content come under content when it comes to breakpoint choose none you can see this is already is sliding you can look at it on tablet too that's it but now let's preview it on the live page when you preview it right click click on inspect and then this is the mobile layout you see this it slides you can put this on a simulator on a mobile responsive simulator like this paste it here go ahead and test so this is it on uh, desktop let's check it on tablet let me choose ipad yeah let me choose that you can see it on tablet that is it check it out on mobile i'll choose uh, let's say 13 iphone 13 or iphone 14 that is it it shows you it is actually responsive okay so that is that method two is going to be using we are not going to be using any plugin or any code rather so let's let me come back here and i'll come to uh templates team builder and i'm going to i'm going to delete this i'm going to delete this so i'll create a new header from scratch you can see it's loading i don't want to use any of this now if you have elementor pro just search for menu we are not going to be using this one anymore we are going to be using menu we'll drag it and put it here you see we have a number of items i can just duplicate 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 now let me do this item four item five item six i'm sorry to be boring you with all of this item seven item eight item nine and item 10 so that is that i want to add condition display conditions they should be on the entire website let's give it a little bit of styling uh, let's say space between items you you may not see the effect right now now come to additional settings first and when you see horizontal scroll click on enable choose enable and the breakpoint none let's come now to back to style and then typography i want to make this to be poppins let's give it some styling if not you will not see it clearly 
color text color should be white i know it's not visible we are going to fix that background type should be classic you choose the color it should be black i have something like a gradient it appears i chose gradient and we we can still go with that and then border ridges you see these edges are too sharp i want to make those to be five it's a bit rounded looks more beautiful then for the hover what happens when we hover over this i want uh, the height the color to be text color to be red dark red yes i want it to be dark red and then I want the background type. I don't want to give it any background type, but I want to give it a border. I want to give it a border. Yes, solid, and it should be. So you can see, I will choose the border color to also be red. So you see that. All of this is important because if we don't do this, you may not really see the effect. Okay, we can go ahead and use it this way. So, when we go ahead and publish and we look at this on mobile, when I go to the mobile, you don't quite see it here, but when I come to the preview, let me preview this again. Let me preview this and I come to inspect you can see it taking it fake here so that is pretty much how you create it's just as simple as that this is pretty much how you create uh, a re responsive scrollable um, mobile menu in wordpress now but there's a lot more you can do with this let's see you've seen some uh, mobile menus that look like uh, they look up like you can do that here um, what we can come and do is that we can decide to put this at the bottom and make it look like a mobile app. First thing we we'll have to do is that we have to add icons to each of these. Um, let's just see home. Let's add the home icon here. Um, for the next one, we can see. Um, let's add message. The next we add call phone I'm just going to pause the video and come back when I've added most of them and now we are going to add the last one which is this so you see here each of them has an icon Let's come to style, come to icons. We want to make the icons to be on top. So you simply come and put them up. What you can now do is that you come to advanced, go to position, advanced, click on this, go to advanced. And when you see position, you want to click on fixed. That's under layout fixed. And then vertical orientation, you want to make it bottom. So you see it's going to be here now, no matter how much, whether you scroll up or you scroll down, it's going to remain here. Now, let's come here and let's i'll close this and we can preview this right now you see it's down let me come here and center this align it to the center i'll align it to center and justify it to the center Well, it hasn't changed. That must be a glitch. 
but let's go ahead that's not the important thing let's go ahead and inspect this now you see it looks like a mobile app now let's take this to a simulator if you don't in case you don't trust this let's take this to this simulator where we already have the here it is you can see the way it looks you can look at it on tablet on tablet let's say ipad air you have it on the ground like a mobile app so that is basically how you create all of this um go ahead and use it and please if you haven't done so already please like this video subscribe to my channel turn on the notification bell and in case you are facing any challenges having this uh, on your own website or on your client's website just write me a message and let's find a way to resolve this god bless you peace